Hello and welcome to Gadonia. If you would like to check out the game, there is a link in the description and this video is kindly sponsored. Now this game is coming out of early access on Steam into a full version and I gotta say I am very impressed. This is made by one person and it is a huge open world RPG. Let's start a new game and see exactly what's going on with it. Alright, so I'm basically just gonna be changing my hair right now just so that we can get straight on into it. We're going to go for a little bit of a beer too. And we're going to be calling ourselves Mr. Barney. Barney Bertilt. Yes, indeed. And uh, there we go. That is exactly what we're going to be going for. Obviously, you can customize your character however you like. Now, here's the thing about this game. Massive amounts of character build options. Now, bear in mind, you can't do everything. That's the wonderful thing about it, actually, as well. Because it, you, you, you spec yourself into intelligence, strength, agility or charisma and these affect what kind of perks you're going to be able to get and what kind of abilities you're going to be able to do so for example let's say that you have four agility boom you can then double jump but if you don't have four agility you won't be able to do that same thing with strength being able to hold uh, hold space bar to power jump and all that wonderful stuff and as i say there is a huge open world to explore i've actually been a bit addicted to the game and um, i've been playing a lot of it and so, um, yeah, I think it's about time that you, uh, you also check it out, because uh, it might be one of, those, one of those games that is a diamond in the rough sort of thing. Anyway, uh, I'm actually not entirely sure what kind of build to go for, because I was actually playing with a two-handed strength build, which is actually kind of cool and fun. But now I'm thinking maybe I'll play like a charisma build or something like that charisma intelligence or something i don't know maybe agility mm. i'm I, I as i say i really have no idea so what i'm actually going to try is i will try for charisma and then we're actually going to be lowering my intelligence does this actually increase melee damage yes it does okay so mm, that's the thing i really do want to oh yeah i i don't know oh this is going to be difficult because I'm kind of wanting to use a bow, because I think a bow would be fun, but I'm also kind of wanting to use dual wielding daggers. As you can see, I can't actually do that unless I have three agility. Uh, hmm. uh, yeah, I, I, I can't craft if I don't have one intelligence as well. Yeah, we're just going to go with this. <laughs> Charisma. Uh, how much charisma do I have? Four. Yeah, okay. That might be a little bit too much, but let's try it out nevertheless. I actually wonder what kind of weapon I'm going to be starting with. Now, bear in mind, you are going to be able to recruit companions in this game as well. And as I said, there is a massive amount of freedom in building your character. All right, so you can interact, uh, learn abilities and so on and so forth. And you can also switch to the secondary weapon with the middle mouse button and look at what you can do in the game. You can progress through the main story by doing missions marked with this. You can complete secondary towns, uh, secondary towns, secondary quests in towns. Uh, you can conquer, colon, uh, conquer challenging dungeons and get the best loot. You can explore the world and find hidden mysteries. Yeah, let me tell you, I actually fought a really big, well, not a big boss, but it was a really, really tough boss with a massive amount of HP. And I gained so much experience from that. And I also gained like some kind of rune or whatever. So I think I could probably use that to craft. You can also join a faction to get specialized equipment by pressing N, and, and you can also gather resources and craft equipment. You can build a house even as well. So here we go. This is this is me, and this is the first fe fellow that we probably want to speak to because that horse over there, that could be ours. How's it going? So, Mr. Alton, I wanted to ask if you could give me your horse spirit. I am going to travel soon. Oh, I don't know about this, really. I can't just give it to you like that. I use it myself in my household almost every day. So now here's the thing. Because I have obviously specced into charisma, I have a lot of persuasive ability. And so I could then say, please, I really need this horse and I would be very grateful for this. You see, it's not just spirit being very useful for me. I also like him very much. I like all my horses. And I can't take the thought that I will give it out to someone who will treat it badly. All right, so, well, I could pay him 40 gold, but unfortunately I don't have 40 gold, of course. So I'm just going to say, I won't. I'm sure Spirit will like me. Let's do a test. I will approach him and see how he would react to me. All right, I guess that could, okay, approach Spirit and get him to like you. All right, let's, let's see if this works. Before you approach the horse, you need to prepare. You remember that Spirit likes something sweet. Perhaps you can buy some sugar on the market or even trying to try to find some in the boxes. All right, so 
boxes I, over here. Do, 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 do they mean over here? I'm actually not entirely sure. Let me actually see. Can I break this? No, it doesn't seem like I can actually break this stuff. Okay, well, whatever the case, you can sprint with holding down control. And you can also... Oh, I don't have enough agility to dodge. Oh, sad. Okay, well, whatever the case, that's absolutely fine. We can probably try to get that a little bit later on. I'm actually wondering, can I... Oh, it's okay. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We can actually go into people's houses as well, and you can loot um, loot things, as you can see right here. Oh, look at this. Simple leather gloves. Oh, I didn't find these before, did I? I'm actually not entirely sure, but yes, any, any single time you get something. So in other words, um, let's say that you get... Um, uh, let's say you get uh, an item or whatever, it's going to change your cosmetic look, which I think is very, very cool. And also there's a day-night cycle, as you might expect. And there's also a huge amount of gathering that you're going to be able to do too. Thankfully, I do have one in, one in intelligence, so I should be able to uh, do, some of the, uh, do some of the crafting available in the game. And what is this? Haha, -ha, yes, look at this. You can do tailoring. Unfortunately, I don't have any... Um, as you can see, you don't have any recipes yet. You need to put skill points to the chosen crafting skill to learn recipes. Obviously, embroidery is probably going to be for cloth armor, so I'm probably not going to be doing that because I'm not a mage. But generally, you could do that if you wanted to. And otherwise, we're just going to be continuing to pick up things. And there's a huge amount of different NPCs that are going to run around and do their own thing. And you can also feed the dog. As you can see right here, there is a stray dog. And you can actually get the dog as your pet. Yes, you can. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Obviously not for me at the moment because I don't have the ability to uh, woo him. <laughs> yes, because you're going to need some meat from the marketplace as far as I'm aware. Hello there. And as I've you can see, there it is. 16 gold it's going to cost. Actually, I could get it, but it is very expensive. Now bear in mind that the more charisma you have, the better the prices at the marketplace. So that's also a, a pretty cool thing to know. And also, I now have a good sleep buff, as you can see in the top right there. All right, so I'm actually going to try and get Spirit to like us now because we have sugar. There we go. And now we have the ability. So you see, now we have the ability to get him, hopefully. All right, all right. I see that he very much likes you. You can take him if you give me 10 gold. Well, I'm going to say I'm going to use for charisma here because I just have so much charisma. So this is the reason why I wanted to actually use a uh, high charisma character uh, for this video, just because a lot of these options are very, very cool and they change how the quest goes in a variety of ways. And I'm just going to say this is a very important horse and they, uh, well, very important thing for me to get the horse. So there we go. We've got the horse and now we are able to mount up. And there we are. Fantastic. Done, right? Yeah, this is great. So now we can get the horse, and now we can get on it, and now we can just ride wherever we like. Now, here's the thing. If I didn't have charisma, what I would then be able to do instead is he would task me with a variety of different things. For example, he would tell me, go and, um, go and kill these voracious plants that are infesting the shrine nearby. And then I would go over there and I would try to rid the shrine of the of the uh, the, the evil uh, evil man-eating plants basically so that is something that I've just completely circumvented by doing what I did so that's pretty cool right and here's the world map mm -hmm. yes this is the world map look at how massive this is and by the way the developer has a lot of different expansions planned as well in other words they're going to be increasing the playing area as well. This is where we currently are. We are in the green veils at the moment. As you can see, there's a massive amount of different quests available too. And uh, well, yeah, it's pretty incredible. And this is the waypoint. So if you want to go to one of those other places, then you're going to need to go into the waypoint and then, you know, interact and so on. Anyway, these are the plants that the guy was talking about. I can actually go over here. Oh, I do basically no damage. Okay, that's very interesting. That is very, very different from um, my experience as my strength-based character because my strength character basically just murdered things. Like, straight up murdered things so incredibly easily. So I'm going to need to do something. Uh, I'm going to need to level up very smartly here so that I can maybe increase my fighting potential. Because as it stands right now, my fighting potential is awful. Uh, bear in mind that obviously you can go and rest. I think resting actually does improve 
the, uh, well, it basically should restore your HP. I think it does. I think it does restore your HP. I could be wrong about that. There are telegraphed attacks as well, as you can quite clearly tell. This fellow has, um, well, every single enemy actually has telegraphed attacks in some way or another. So they're heavy abilities that you can dodge out of or jump out of or move out of. And it adds a huge amount of dynamicism to the combat as well. Obviously, that's the reason why I was kind of thinking, hey, you know what? I wouldn't mind trying out a ranged a ranged build, but I obviously don't have the ability to do that at the moment because, of course, I started with a sword. So maybe I'll be able to speak to the blacksmith. Maybe he's going to be able to give me a, a new weapon or something like that. I obviously haven't tried that out or anything. But it seems like we're actually able to stun these guys kind of, kind of effectively, surprisingly enough. And uh, they don't seem to be able to do too much damage to me. But if I do take damage, I'm going to take a lot of damage from these guys. Because I just don't have as much HP as I did with my strength build. And I'm also kind of wondering what we can do with the, the magic too. But now here's the thing. What's really cool about this game as well is that it has Steam Workshop support. In other words, there are a bunch of mods available. And you are also able to create your own mods from within the game itself. So if that interests you... There are, uh, I, I believe, tutorial uh, videos on that uh, on the developer's um, channel. So you can also check that out through the game itself. And otherwise, this is our skill tree right here. So we can actually decide what we want to spec into here. So, for example, if we wanted to spec into archery, you would just click this little plus icon here. And then you're going to be able to increase your ability to use archery in a number of different ways so for example you have evasive maneuvers so you can dodge backwards and instantly shoot the prepared arrow in front of the player or you could go for speech because i obviously have a massive amount of charisma already makes a speech that increases player and allies health and armor that actually sounds pretty fun Ooh! each time you attack you have a small chance to charm the target forcing it to stop attacking you for eight seconds Charisma stat increases effectiveness. Wow, this seems really, really strong. Okay, we're going to actually do that. Let's um, let's place a couple of points in this. Unfortunately, I can only place two points in it because I need level four to be able to spend more points in this at the moment. So it's just nice that we were able to do that. Also, we have banditry here as well. So for example, what we can do with banditry is the assassination tree. It's all about using daggers and poisons and so on. And then you can also go into stealth and pickpocket people and steal things from people with the lock picking and so on and so forth. As I say, there is a huge amount of freedom in the game. There's also cooking. Enchanting, tailoring, alchemy, leatherworking, and blacksmithing, as well as weapon crafting. So if we wanted to, we could basically create our very own weapons. And I think that might be something fun for us. I'm not entirely sure at the moment what I really want to go for. Maybe we want to go for something... Uh, do we want to go for like a fast attacking a fast attacking build or something like that? Maybe that would be kind of fun, but I'm also thinking archery might be cool. Hmm. See, now, now I'm having difficulties. I think I'm just going to go for some points in the uh, melee attacks so that we can actually have improved dodge and things. Each time you actively dodge, well, unfortunately, I don't have the ability to dodge at the moment. But yes, otherwise, these are the factions. And you can decide to join any of these factions that you like. And um, you can see here, if you decide to join the Barbarians, for example, you'll be able to join the Seers after completing their quest chain. But you won't be able to join any other faction at all. Uh, same thing with the bandits, mage academy, necromancers, merchants, holy monastery, and the warriors guild. And you can see here, they give you specific rewards. So there's a lot of different things to, to be done there. Otherwise, there's your inventory. I've got 25 gold and a bunch of other stuff here. Nothing really to write home about. And then obviously you have your quest tracking and so on. And then you have your stats. And uh, you can see exactly what's going on with your experience and everything. I actually kind of think that maybe it would be kind of cool to play with like a, I don't know, like a high intelligence build. If you play with a high intelligence build, is this guy actually, no, he's a traveling bard. Hello. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I think a high intelligence build might be kind of cool because it gives you a lot more experience or it, it gives you some bonus experience. So maybe that would be kind of fun. Anyway, uh, you could pay 20 gold for him to play an epic tune. And then you get 1% armor and magic resistance. Or you can play some of your own tunes plus movement speed. Yeah, I'm probably going to just do that. There we go. So we have a mu music buff now, which is actually kind of cool. And now I am able to run just that much faster. There are some bandits over there too. 
And, uh, oh yeah, mm, there's a quest over there too. Okay, yeah, so there's a huge amount of random quests available as well, and they take you into all kinds of different directions. There's one over here that I think might be quite fun. Um, <laughs> I don't know, it depends what you what you think is fun, but I think it's fun, personally. So let's see if we can, uh, let's see if we can do that. I don't know why I'm running around when I have the horse. It's because my strength build didn't have the horse until I completed all those other other quests but my charisma build just goes ah oh, yes you know shortcut yeah exactly absolutely perfect okay so now we can just get off here and i can just speak to this guy hello there yeah i'm gonna speak to the tree i am actually gonna speak to the tree so i'm gonna say what's wrong i'm sorry it's just that i've been watching my wee babes getting well getting crunched for years the pain anger grief it's thick in me like sap and I can feel it seeping into my little ones. So if you're looking for apples, why don't you run off and find some other tree that won't say nothing if you take its apples? All right, well, um, I'm sorry. Uh, is there anything I can do to help? You're kinder than most, but nothing can get my children back. I suppose it just feels like, well, like revenge is all that's left. Well, you're right. A life for a life is only fair. Can I help you take revenge? As soon as I started feeling angry, I could feel something else too. Something new. Creeping up from my roots, bleeding into my apples, I can't explain it, but I don't think these apples are my children anymore, at least not in the same way. All I know is, if someone takes a bite of one of these, it'll be the last bite they take. Here, take these, give them to some townsfolk and I'll have my revenge. Alright, so, uh, yeah. Anyway, figure out what to do with the apples. So technically this is, um, as far as I'm aware, this is optional right here. Uh, giving, giving the, uh... The apple to the squirrel. I don't really want to give it to the squirrel because it's basically, uh, spoilers, it is going to kill the squirrel. So we probably don't want to do that. But what I would like to do is go over here and complete the quest. And completing the... Oh yeah, you can do it to a... Oh wow, you can give this to a lot of different people. Okay, so let's have a look-see here. Let's give it to the fisherman. How is the fishing going? Uh, not great, actually. I didn't manage to catch anything good yet. Just a few small fishes, and I've been standing here for hours. I'm quite tired and hungry. Do you want this apple? Let's see what happens. Thanks, this apple seems good, he says, and takes a bite of it. Let's see what happens to him. Something doesn't seem right. It hurts. Oh, no. Oh. And there he goes. All right, yeah. So, uh, yeah, you can do these kinds of things. I don't know whether this actually has any permanent um, permanent effects, but uh, yeah, anyway. Hey there, want to help me with baking? Yeah, yeah, hello. Uh, lean in for a moment. You see that girl over there? Edie's her name, and I'm going to marry her. All I need is to find the perfect apples for my engagement tart. Engagement tart? For me, bread is life, and its yeast is love. So what better to confess your love than sweet glazed bread? Well, I think I might have just the thing you're looking for. Oh my, this apple is perfect. Just like sweet Edie. Many thanks, stranger. Alright, so now he's going to bake a pie, as you can quite clearly tell. And the quest was called Apple of My Pie. Get it? Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. And now we're going to see the fruits of our labor. Mm -hmm. Ah, what a wonderful, wonderful pun. I will probably jump off this bridge as punishment. Anyway, hello Edie, I've made this for you as a token of my love. Would you marry me? He says. Adam, I'm sorry, I just can't. We can't be together. Fine, then I'll eat this myself. <laughs> and, well, there he goes. Boom, another another corpse for the pond, by the looks of things. And that's, uh, that's it, there we go. That is indeed the quest. Um, very amusing. <laughs> Uh, morbid, morbid, uh, morbid fun. Alright, so anyway, we are probably going to buy the meat. Um, I think, do I need to cook this? Surely I don't need to cook this, but I'm going to buy the meat, and I'm, we're going to see if we can charm the dog into becoming our pet. Let's see. Hey there, buddy, how are you doing? Are you hungry? Want this meat I got? Uh, there we go, you want baked meat? Here it is. Yes, there we go. We actually did it. Cool. I didn't do this before, by the way, because I didn't have enough money due to the lack of charisma to be able to buy the meat from the merchant. But there you go. Look, now we have a companion. Now we have a little dog that is going to be coming along with us and helping us with 
our uh, little fighting. And wow, this is actually hilarious that the dog has 10 less HP than me. Uh, I am a very flimsy individual, am I not? Okay, well, let's get out of the horse. And then we're going to make our way out into the wilderness. I mean, basically, there are a lot of quests that we can do. There's a quest available there. There's also a petrified brute. That is a big boss type enemy. And uh, I believe there are also other things that we can do down there. And there's also a there's also a story mission over there too. All right, so let's just have a quick look-see here. There's also the ferocity tree. I probably should increase my... Um, my attack speed and melee damage and all that wonderful stuff so yeah we'll hopefully be able to do that and yeah there we go okay i think that seems pretty good and you can also uh, equip um equip uh, various things so you can equip um your uh, your skills as well so that would probably be a good idea for me to do all right, so I've come out of town, and I think it's probably a pretty good idea for us to eliminate these bandits on the way to that quest there. So let's see if I can actually beat these bandits. They were pretty difficult for me when I was playing my two-handed strength build, so I'm actually kind of worried about this, but maybe I'm going to be okay, dependent on uh, a variety of things, because I do have a dog. Obviously, the dog is probably going to be pretty... Oh, wow, it's taking a lot of damage right here. Okay, I'm taking a lot of damage too. Wait, let's just eliminate this guy and then ch take out the other one really quickly. There we go. We reached level four. Nice. That also means that we gained back full HP upon leveling up. Let's try and eliminate this fellow too. There we go. And now we can loot them. I've got to be a bit careful not to get attacked by those fellows there. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, let me just, uh, let me see what's actually going on here. Can I, okay, we can pet the dog. We can pet the dog, but I need to actually go and um, speak to, wait a minute. How do I actually speak to the, uh... there we go. Okay, we can speak to the dog that way. All right, so we have actually some points to spend. Generates 100 aggro from the current target. I would like to be able to, ah, has a chance to apply healing effect. Okay, perfect. Yeah, that's exactly what we're going to take. There's a chance to apply armor decrease. Ooh, wow, this is actually crazy. Um, yeah, it would be good to get some more meat as well. I'd like to... Oh, yeah, I'd like to make sure that it stays alive, if at all possible. Okay, um, hmm. Okay, I don't... I, can I actually rename this? No, it doesn't see... Oh, no, no, I can rename it. Oh, okay, wow, I have no idea. Pelosaur. There we go. Perfect. For those of you that know that, then congratulations. <laughs> all right, uh, let me actually have a look-see here. Yeah, I think that I think bite bite sounds fun, right? Give you a potion, uh, give your companions potion of oblivion that makes them forget all abilities and perks he learned. Wow. Okay. Uh, we also have a bunch of different things here. Teleport the companion, dismiss companion. Oh, okay, okay. Well, that's absolutely fine. But yeah, there's a huge amount of different things that you can do with your companions, as you can see right here. And uh, my dog is back up to full HP. So let's go and attack these guys. There we go. Let's knock them down. Let's try and kill the um, let's try and kill the archer first, I guess. Because the archer seems to do some pretty decent damage. As you can see, wow, just took a huge chunk out of me right there. But uh, it seems like my dog is doing a lot better now. Mostly because I've taken all the damage by the looks of things. <laughs> that might be it. Anyway, there we go. We were able to achieve victory. And uh, now, uh, I was actually hoping I could bash those barrels, but no. No such luck. Okay, so now technically what we can do is we can actually uh, craft some stuff. So let's actually do that. Let's let's put some points into cooking. So you can see that here that we could actually bake simple meat, which might actually make sense. Oh, I, uh, I don't have enough. I don't have enough points to do that. Oh, that's kind of sad. Oh, well, never mind, never mind. All right. Uh, can I do anything here? Yeah, I can. Okay, so I'd like to do encouraging speech as well makes a speech okay well that's perfectly fine all right so yeah otherwise apart from that we can uh there are some things that you can actually oh hello there mm Hmm. yes that you can actually loot as i said oh no we can't use it we can't use it because we don't have enough strength oh that's sad oh well never mind never mind okay yeah but otherwise apart from that we can just eat these berries and we can get back uh, our hp through that so that's actually kind of cool and otherwise, we can just move on and you can gather things however you want. You can basically go wherever you like and you can gather things and then you can use those in cooking and various other crafting. 
And you can also attack things like this deer here. So I'm probably going to end up doing that. Uh, there's, there's, a, uh, there's a telegraphed ability. Let's try and get out of the way of that. There we go. And I'm hopeful that we'll actually be able to uh, acquire some more companions as well. Bear in mind that attributes are fixed. So you need to make sure that you have exactly what you want when you start the game. There are no increasing attributes in this game. So in other words, the only thing that you're going to be able to do is increase these skills right here. You won't be able to increase your attributes themselves. So for example, strength, dexterity, etc. You cannot increase those after the initial start. Because of course, the developer doesn't want you to be able to do every single thing in the game in, in regards to your character build. But uh, yeah, apart from that, you can obviously just spec into this. Anyway, hello there. Hey, you there. Do you have some water? Yeah, sure. Give, them, give, the, give the guy some water. Thanks. The throat gets dry after a while, especially with this lightning and all. Uh, he shakes in pain. He's being shocked by something. Who did this to you? A powerful mage who lives in the house south from here. How are you not dead yet? A healing spell. Each time the lightning hits, the spell heals the wound. Well, uh, you probably did something terrible to deserve this done to you. No, I only wanted something to eat. I've tried to steal some food from the kitchen, but this evil maniac cursed me forever for nothing. Well, how can I help you? Well, I think I can kill you. Slit his throat. Well, I, and yeah, uh, spoilers. You try this and the healing magic just heals him. So you can't do that. Uh, I will try to talk to the wizard. Okay, we will go and do that. Apparently, this is a bandit. So I am inclined to believe maybe the wizard story in comparison to the bandit. Because he's obviously going to try and save his own skin however he can. But on the other hand, I'm a bit worried about it in general. Because we kind of have to make a good decision here. Anyway, here's the wizard. Hello. The man chained on the mountain with the lightning hitting him. Do you, did you do this to him? Oh, that one. This is the least this animal deserves. What did he tell you? Well, it doesn't matter. Nobody deserves this kind of treatment. You're an evil psycho. Prepare to die. And technically, we could attack him, and then he would attack us. And, um, well, as you can quite clearly tell, I think I'm at, uh, what, what, what am I now? I'm level 4 or something like that, and this guy's level 6. So it's highly unlikely I'd be able to do that, even if he is evil. Not entirely sure if that's in, indeed the case, because we're, we're going to find that out. He told me he tried to steal something to eat. This doesn't mean you can torture him. He is an excellent liar, then. He and his buddies snuck into the house and trashed all my equipment. Tore my research scrolls, trying to find something valuable to sell. I was away in the academy at the time, and my loyal servant Joshua tried to stop them. They cut off his head, left it here, and dumped the body in the forest. I was looking for it the whole night. Well, uh, by the gods, this is horrible. What can I do for you? Look, it turned out that he stole a valuable scroll about arcane energies from me. I tried to force him to tell me where it is, but I couldn't. Maybe you could try. All right, and that's exactly what we will try to do. Um, I, I haven't actually explored up the... Uh, oh, never mind. Yeah, there's a magical barrier up there. So obviously I'm not going to be able to do... Oh, not going to be able to do that. And I'm being I'm being attacked. Oh no, where, where's my companion actually? Where is my dog? Oh, oh my. Oh wow, I'm being attacked by the entire forest by the looks of things. Massive bear and a deer as well. Okay, this is, this is not going to go well, I don't think. Well, hopefully it's going to be okay once I've eliminated some of them. But the, the bear is going to do massive damage if we allow it to hit us. More wolves are coming in? Are you serious? Come on, get out of here with that. Okay, we've got to be a little bit careful here. You can actually block as well, by the way, with right click. Let me actually just... Oh no. This is, oh, this is bad news. This is bad news bears right here. I mean, almost literally bad news bears. Okay, my... Oh, my dog's doing massive damage to the bear. Oh, it's healing. Oh, wow. The, the, the dog is actually super, super powerful. That's really, really nice. Really pleased that we actually got the dog before we left the town because, let's face it, I probably have huge issues actually winning these battles without him. All right, there we go. Raw meat, fantastic. Yes. Okay, more of this, please. More of this, more of this. There we go. All right, so I actually would like to find a, uh, a cooking station. I know that there is a cooking station over there at the bandit camp. By the way, there is a uh, there is an option to disable respawns in the world. So if, you, if you're someone that doesn't like the respawns, then you can do that. You can disable them. Let's speak to the bandit. All right. 
I know what you did, actually. The wizard will release you if you tell me where the scroll is you stole from him. The choice is yours. It's buried in the mud under the tree in the forest in front of the wizard's tower. Please, I can't take this pain anymore. Why is it buried in the mud? Why, he thought that was a good hiding place, I guess, huh? Oh yeah, well, bandits, you know, uh, they're probably not going to have the uh, the greatest ideas, but I suppose the wizard couldn't find it for some reason. I don't know why the wizard wasn't able to find it, but there you go. Anyway, we're just going to continue looting everything that we can here. There's another bear. Got to be a little bit careful about that. Don't really want to get attacked once again. Okay, so wait a minute. Where is the mud? Where is the mud? In front of the wizard's tower? I mean, it might... Oh, there's some bandits. So is, is that is that a bandit or is that a, just a, a wood chopping fellow? I think it's here. Yeah, there we go. It's over there. Okay, so it's in the forest. Oh, dear. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just go over here real fast. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Chop the trees and bring wood to the collection point. Okay. Um, can I... How do I actually do that? Ah, there we go. There's an axe. Okay, so this is just a random job that you can actually do, by the way. Um, can I... Can I actually... What? Uh, could you could you give me an axe, actually, sir? Because I, uh, I I would need one to actually make this work. Or um, wait a minute. Oh, never mind, never mind. Okay, I am I'm, I'm actually not going to be um, <laughs> I'm not going to be chopping the thick trees. I'm just going to be chopping the uh, the slightly smaller ones. Okay, that makes that makes everything a lot easier for me, doesn't it? Okay, so let me just do this. We're going to be getting a lumberjack, lumberjack axe from this. And 120 gold? Oh, I didn't even realize how much money that was. That's a lot of money. So hopefully we can then maybe purchase something a little bit better for us. Maybe we'll even be able to hire a mercenary or, or some other companion. I, I really have no idea. As I say, I didn't play a charisma build before. So it's going to be a lot of fun to, uh, to try that out. All right, let me just go and hand this in. And there we go. Fantastic. Look at that. So we get we got 120 gold and experience and we're actually almost at the next level so that's super nice maybe we'll even be able to cook at that point as well which would actually be kind of nice all right so let me actually just heal myself a little bit with the wild berries and then we will go down even further there are some cursed uh, cursed plants over there that will absolutely want to murder us so i will just try to avoid them for the moment where do I need to go? Okay, I need to go in this direction. And we're going to need to find the mud. There's a huge amount of wildlife in this area as well. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, this is bad. Hello. Oh, no. Okay, well, I, I am full HP again, so I shouldn't have too many difficulties staying alive. But if I get... Yeah, as you can see. If I get... Um, circled and in, 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 in kind of surrounded and it's going to be uh, a bit difficult but my my dog is doing so much damage to the bear here and it's actually able to heal itself as well that is amazing that is absolutely saving me right now it really is okay perfect let me just get all of this we're going to need all the raw meat that we can get so we can actually make some meat for our dog and ourselves and there there it is there's the loose dirt and we also we gained the scroll okay fantastic there we go so now what we can do is we can go back to the wizard and we can give that to him and then i'm going to assume that maybe he's going to allow the bandit to leave or maybe not i got the scroll you wanted is he going to kill him now or is he going to let him go i'm not entirely sure let's see Oh my, okay, never mind. He didn't let him go. He just absolutely vaporized him. All right, um, note to self, don't, don't, get on, uh, don't get on this guy's bad side. Uh, what, that was it? He didn't tell me anything about that? Oh, okay. Well, whatever the case, we now have the ability to buy things from him. Well, technically, we could have done that before, but yeah. Anyway, uh, whoa, we can actually sell the mushroom for 25 gold? These are amazing prices, probably because of my charisma, right? Yeah, I'm going to just sell all that. That sounds like a great, great plan. Um, yeah, okay, yeah. Also, by the way, if you um, if you wanted to, <laughs> this is something that I didn't mention at the time, but with the horse back in the town, the other solution is not doing the task at all, but what you can do is you can find a rope, and then you can steal the horse if you want to do that. 
So there's a, a wide variety of different things that are possible in this world, and you can decide on how you yourself want to ha want, want to conduct yourself. All right, so there was the timed little area thing there, the uh, the lumberjack event, and we oh wait, wait a minute, are they undead? These are undead, right? Okay, this is going to be a bit problematic. Okay, they do a lot of damage. Okay, let's just... Oh no, this is bad. This is really, really bad. Okay, they do so much damage. Uh, maybe I can knock them down. I mean, that's that's my best hope, actually. But they do massive damage if we stay in melee range with them, especially considering they have telegraphed attacks. As you can see, massive amounts of damage being done, but thankfully our dog is just healing itself like no one's business. Oh, so much HP, so much experience for this. Nice. I really wish I had more combat skill, or at least, uh, let, let me just say it, I wish I had a better weapon. That's it. I really wish I had a better weapon. Maybe I should have been a more, more of a, an agility focused build. That might have been the way to go because as i say there are more than one way to uh you know complete a particular quest and so you know it might might make sense to focus on combat because you're going to be doing that quite a lot but it's very very fun to be able to complete these quests just through conversation and speech powers and as i've said before the oh simple bronze amulet that's nice um but yeah the uh the charisma tree and the speech tree seem super super powerful so i'm actually wondering whether we can uh, make good use of it. There we go. And we have now reached level six in actual fact. And we just acquired a lucky ring, which allows us to get 1% critical strike chance and an amulet, which increases our health. Very nice. And we can now spec into something. So I'm going to spec into cooking. I think I, I think I have everything that I need to be able to do the baked meats. So I don't think I need to do anything more there. And technically what we can do is we can do this a little bit more. There we go. Oh, wow. Decrease all prices by 10%. That's actually kind of incredible. Okay. Do we want to learn this skill? Yes. There we go. Okay. Um, can I... Can I add this? Yes, I can. Okay, there we go. I'm going to add this onto R. Each time you attack, you have a small chance to... Yes, I'm going to learn this as well. You need skill points to be able to do this kind of stuff, by the way. So you need to save your skill points with the exception of just pressing on the little plus icon there. So... Yeah, it's actually really, really useful. And now I have the ability to use encouraged or encouragement. And now we have a small buff on ourselves, which is going to give us a little bit more combat effectiveness, which is exactly what we want. All right. So how am I actually doing? I've got 250 gold almost. That's super nice. Let's see. So there's a forest guardian down there and there's also a quest, but there is a timed challenge over to the left. I don't think I've ever done the timed challenge. And by the way, Pelosaur now has 199 HP. Whoa, that is a very beefy dog. And uh, maybe we'll be able to um, increase it even further as we go. All right, so who is this? I don't even know who this is. This guy probably wants me to shoot something with a bow, and I don't really have the ability to do that. Let me see. What are you doing here? I am practicing my archery and improving my accuracy. It's very important for hunting. Do you want to try it too? Sure. You need to hit these targets 10 times in 60 seconds. Let's see how you do. All right. Um, did, did you give me a... You didn't give me a bow, sir. You didn't give me a bow. Um, d well, um... <laughs> uh, yeah, this is... Yeah, unfortunately, this is just for ranged characters, by the looks of things. Or I need to buy a bow, and then I would be able to do this. Yes, unfortunate, unfortunate. But you do get a lot of experience if you're able to do this. I think I would probably have been okay. Look, there are all the targets over there. I, I as I say, I have not done a dexterity build uh, or an agility build, so I have no idea what the ranged combat is like. But I, from what I've heard from other people, the uh, the archery in this game is very cool and fun and uh, pretty powerful, actually. So, yeah. There's, uh, there's something to consider. And as I say, there's a lot of replayability in the game itself too because you basically just want to go and you want to try out everything. You want to try out all kinds of different builds and you want to try all the different approaches to the game. Now that we have the music buff, 
I mean, the encouragement buff, shall we say. I, th I feel much more powerful. So let's actually just jump right on in here. And my, my dog is absolutely murdering. Absolutely murder. Oh, do you see how much damage it does? Wow. Okay, I did not realize how much damage it was capable of. But yeah, it's doing massive amounts of damage. And also heals itself. That is amazing. Yeah, so charisma build, I think, is looking real nice. And personally, for me, I think this is maybe my favorite so far. Because while with the strength-based build, you are going to just wreck. You're going to do a lot of damage. You're going to do so much damage. But then your companions, for example, our little, uh, our little dog here, is not going to be as powerful. So it's really, really cool to see that. Okay, wait a minute. Okay. Oh, you can only choose one ability to be active at any one time. Oh, that's kind of sad. Would have been really cool to actually have both of them active, but the instinct of survival is just so incredibly good. It really is. Let's uh, let's give some meat, and uh, that's going to increase our reputation or our relation with uh, with Pelasaur here. And I actually would like to go and cook some more meat so that we can get some more relation with him. Because I'm actually wondering whether that's going to improve how much damage he does or um, how much HP he has or something like that. I really have no idea. As I say, I haven't had a companion before. So this is going to be very interesting. And also we do get an opportunity to uh, show the, uh, the crafting system. So you can see here, boom. You can just click and there we go done wonderful that was nice and easy i love the crafting systems that don't make you wait <laughs> because making you wait is kind of uh, yeah it's a bit frustrating to wait isn't it so it's just nice being able to click and, and have it done all right so let's just have a look see here Ooh, nice okay wait a minute wait a minute let me actually see can i move the window no, I can't move the window. Okay, well, that's absolutely fine. Let's just do this. I'm going to... Okay, fr oh, it gives you more points to spend. It gives you more points to spend. Okay. Uh, decrease armor, I guess. Let's do that. Uh, let's do Let's do more. Let's do more. Why not? There we go. Ah, now we can have two abilities active at any one time. Okay, that's fantastic. Okay, yeah. So we're going to just continue increasing our relation... And now we have no more meat, unfortunately. Uh, you know what? Actually, spending some points in some of this would have been really, really useful. I was a bit of an idiot about that because I was just really wanting to get all of this. But what's really cool now is that it generates 100 aggro from the current target. So basically, Pelasaur is just going to be a huge walking tank now. So that's going to be so incredibly effective. Oh, what, what is this? What is that thing? I have no idea what this is. Magic crystals. Okay. Yeah, give me give me this magic crystal. Thank you very much. That is obviously for crafting, probably enchanting or something like that. But uh, yeah, anyway, there we go. All right. So I'm actually near to the town now again, but I'm actually wondering, there is a quest down here that I was wondering how it would be solved if I had charisma. That's actually partially the reason why I wanted to create a charisma bill, because as I say, there are so many different ways that you can solve issues and being able to approach different situations with different solutions is always extremely interesting to me, at least. Um, yeah, so let, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Now, as far as I'm aware, there is a dragon. Yes, I know. There is a dragon corpse over here, and there is a person next to it that is claiming that they were the one to slay the dragon. Obviously, this is very much a case of, well, I don't think so, sir. But uh, let's actually have a look-see here. Whoa, Pelasaur's doing massive damage. Wow, yeah, we're, we're actually not doing, we're, we're not doing too badly ourselves, actually. Oh, look at that, we are now friendly with warriors. That's pretty cool. I'm actually wondering whether I should join, um, join the warriors, because we're gaining reputation with the barbarians and the warriors. So maybe it would make sense for us to join the warriors. I don't know. I think that sounds like a pretty pretty cool idea. This guy's a beefy brawler. Let's take him down. There we go. And uh, there we are. Okay, so obviously crafting is not really going to work for me at the moment. Let's get some baked fish. Oh, okay, yeah. Baked fish sounds pretty cool. And we're just going to encourage ourselves once again. Okay, so now first of all... Uh, let's join a faction, shall we? So as you can see, I, I feel like maybe joining the Warriors Guild might be kind of cool. 
Um, you can actually create a paladin as well, as far as I'm aware. So you have like holy damage and things like that. And you also have merchants here too. What, what, what's actually going on with the merchants? You won't be able to join the necromancers, the bandits, the seers, or the barbarians at all. And you will be able to join other factions after completing the merchant's quest chain. What do you get? You get the diplomat suit and plus one max companion. That actually sounds really fun for a charisma based build. So I think I might actually join them instead. So I think that's what I'm going to do. You will become an enemy to all opposing factions, but you will be able to join allied factions after finishing the quest chain. Yeah, that sounds pretty fun. And all we need to do now is go and talk to Bartender J about joining the Merchant's Guild. All right, so that's exactly what I'm going to go ahead and do. But I'm going to speak to this fellow first. Behold, I, Joron, the greatest hero who ever lived in Gdonia. I have slain the mighty dragon with my sword and didn't even get a scratch. Well, did you kill it yourself? Don't you see it, you stupid peasant? Now run to the monastery and announce the coming of the hero, so that I may be rewarded when I cut off the beast's head and go there. Mm-hmm. Yes, but now, if you don't have Charisma 4, you won't be able to select this. And, you, and we could say, This seems weird to me. You're carrying a sword, but there are no sword wounds on the dragon's body. So, so what? I, I managed to kill him, even without the sword. Well, you're clearly lying. What really happened here? All right, you got me. I saw one of the paladins fighting the dragon and killing him. He stumbled away to the monastery and died in the forest nearby. I just walked over here. Okay, well, <laughs> technically we can attack him right now for his dis dishonest, um, dishonest happenings. I mean, he did call us a stupid peasant, but uh, let's, uh, let's actually have a look and, um, and see what else we can do here. How do you think the paladins would react if I told them that you had forsaken one of them to die and then tried to take all the glory for yourself? Let's say that. Wait, uh, look, I didn't mean to be respectful to the paladins. I mean, disrespectful to the paladins. I just wanted the opportunity to get some easy coins. I'm sorry. Okay, so give me your sword and all your money and maybe I'll keep my mouth shut. Or do a good deed instead. Tell everyone in your town about the paladin hero and what he did. I mean, how much money does this guy have? <laughs> That's the question. Uh... I'm actually wondering whether we can say this and then actually kill him or tell on him anyway. Ah, you know, we're just gonna... Uh, I actually want a sword, you know? I actually want a sword. I'm gonna say, give me a sword and all your money. Okay. Uh, he gave me a crude great sword. Can I kill him now? No, I can't. Oh, sad. I wanted to be able to kill him. Oh, well, never mind, never mind. Okay, so he gave me a crude greatsword. Unfortunately, this is basically not going to do much for me at all. But, um, yeah, it's all right. It's fine. I mean, we, we, we basically have that guy, you know, just running around now. And he basically doesn't have any ability to take, um, take uh, you know, credit for anyone else's work, I suppose. So, I, yeah, I guess that's all right. But, uh, yeah, here's the paladin, as you can see. It's a body of a paladin from the Holy Monastery. It looks like he was badly injured and he was trying to get home. All right. Yeah, so now what we need to do is we need to go to the Holy Monastery, which is down here, as you can see. Oh, there's actually another quest over here. Wow, okay. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. There are so many different things that you can do in this game. And it feels very shall we say limitless it feels limitless let's see what she has to say what are you doing here you see these holes in the ground a purple bug live in uh, some purple bugs live in those they travel underground through long tunnels and this is one of the places where they sometimes crawl out another place is near my house where they already ate all my potatoes and cabbage so i decided to make a smelly mixture that can lure them out the problem is that i'm afraid if there is a lot of them there i won't be able to deal with them at the same time well maybe i can help Sure, just throw this stuff on the ground near the holes and the bugs will crawl, crawl on the surface. But you need to hurry, because after I open this bag, the substance will only be effective for 60 seconds. Alright, let's do it. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's do this. Okay, come on, Pelasaur, let's go. Uh, there we go. Let, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need more damage. We need more, much more damage. If I was my strength build right now, this would be an absolute piece of cake. But as it stands, I don't... <laughs> So this is going to be very, very uh, difficult for us to get the gold medal, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, let me see if I can just get some more. There we go. Get, get, get all of them. Get as many of them as possible. There we go. Can we, can we actually get, can we actually get silver? Yeah, there we go. We did it. Okay, we actually got the silver medal by the looks of things, and we are now level seven. 
Where is Pelosaur? Oh, there, there's Pelosaur. Okay, Pelosaur is absolutely murdering everything. I mean, as you might expect. By the way, the Encourage spell only has a 15 second cooldown, and it feels to me like it's really, really strong because it actually heals me at the same time, which is very cool indeed. Okay, so what's this? Each time you attack, you have a chance to verbally abuse your target, decreasing his damage. Okay, that might actually be kind of cool, but we're going to be taking Encouraging Speech. Uh, yeah, that's all automatically done. There we go. And I'm just going to be increasing... Oh, I can't increase it any further. Okay, I guess I will take... We will take Pressure. Why not? It's a passive. Sounds pretty cool to me. All right, so let's uh, let's speak to her. Oh, can, can we do it again? Oh my, okay, that's a, that is that a repeatable quest? It, it seems like that, that is a repeatable quest. Until maybe you get the gold medal, maybe? Maybe that's what's going on there, I'm not entirely sure, but anyway. There's a town over here, I think that is indeed the monastery. So let's ride on over and see what's going on. But yeah, as I say, there is a huge map available and I haven't even, I haven't even encountered everything, I haven't uncovered everything at all and there are huge amounts of different areas as you can see right here it's just it feels limitless it feels extremely large the game the game world and you're going to be able to explore all of that okay so uh where do i need to actually go i guess i will go into the the church itself ah i will speak to this fellow good to see you oh no okay okay apparently not Ah, oh, this the, no no okay apparently not may the light ever guide you on your path okay yes thank you thank you i appreciate that okay so apparently uh, ah there we go greetings traveler how can i aid you hello what's your name my name is brother jordan and i am a priest here at the monastery what are you doing here i'm mostly praying and keeping the yard here clean and organized that's all not the most prestigious work possible but i'm not complaining what do you think about serving here are you happy with everything Honestly, I always wanted to become a missionary and enlighten people about the power of the light, but I am needed here for now. I am sure the high priest would allow you to become one. Do you want to join me and explore the world together? If this is true, then of course, I would gladly do this. And there we go. <laughs> we got another companion. Okay, now this this is going to this is going to make things even better for us. We are going to absolutely burst through anything now because we have Brother Jordan. I'm not entirely sure what he's even good at. Let's talk to him and see exactly what's going on with him. All right. So we have one point. Oh, wow. Look at that. He's actually a healer, as you might expect. And he does have the ability to heal people. All right. So I'm actually not even entirely sure what to go for here, to be honest. We can even give him... Uh, he doesn't... How much strength does he have? Can he even use this? No, he can't use that. He can only use one-handed swords. Yeah, that's absolutely fine and very much expected. All right. So... Let's have a look here. Heals ally for a limited amount of health. Increase health and defense of the target for 30 minutes. Has a chance to buff himself with a shield that increases things. Has a chance to create a spot of holy energy that heals allies. Hmm. Gonna go for the buff, I think. That sounds fun. Alright, uh, we can gift him things as well. Apparently gold is what he likes. Gold. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that is... Um... That is uh, to be expected, I suppose. All right, so yes. Anyway, um, I'm actually not entirely sure who I can speak to to, um, Good to see you. inform the monastery of the uh, the paladin's demise. Um, let me... It seems out here? Is, is is it that guy over there? Wait a minute. Is that, a, is that a barbarian or something? I'm not entirely sure, but at least we gained another companion. That's pretty cool, right? Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Anyway, let's just go over here. Who is who is this fellow? Maybe this is the guy? Or is this an enemy? Because it looks a bit like a barbarian to me. Oh, yep. Oh, hello. Okay. It is indeed some kind of enemy. Oh, oh, oh he's using holy energy. I mean, holy magic. That's, that's pretty cool. This is a bandit dark hunter. Okay, that is going to be a bit worrying. But thankfully, Pelos... Oh my! That's a lot of damage that Pelosaur just took. Okay, hopefully um, we're, we're not going to... Hopefully we're not going to have too many issues here. I'm actually going to buff ourselves. I'm going to encourage Pelosaur here. Improved encourage is just amazing. Does so much more for us. Unfortunately, we are doing very little damage, as I said before. But there you go. All right. We eliminated this guy. Whoa, okay. He gave us some stuff. Silk is actually pretty pretty decent for us to sell. But yes, anyway. 
that is probably going to be it for this episode of Gadonia. And if you would like to check out the game, there is a link in the description. And as, as I say, it is coming out of early access into the full version on Steam. Highly recommended if you love open world RPGs. And you can see quite clearly how many places you're going to be able to explore. And as I said before, the developer is also working on expanding the world even further. There are also mods on the Steam Workshop and dungeons to explore all kinds of crazy stuff going on with it and i haven't even done the main quest you see that i haven't even done the main quest it's incredible anyway i thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time